Good morning. Welcome to New Day. It's Tuesday, November 19th, 6 o'clock in the east, and we start with the destruction in the Midwest. We now know it was a real monster that attacked Washington, Illinois. A ferocious EF4 tornado, 166 mile an hour winds. Hundreds of thousands are still without power in this mad scramble to deal with tremendous loss from Missouri to Wisconsin. The death toll from Sunday's onslaught of twisters now rising to eight. Let's go to CNN meteorologist Indra Peterson. She's live in Washington, Illinois, where they're still trying to figure out the extent of the damage. Indra, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Chris. We all saw that damage yesterday, and today we now know from the National Weather Service that, yes, this was an EF4 tornado. So just picture winds at 190 miles per hour, stretching for over 34 and a half miles, and the width of this tornado now, we know, it was a half mile wide. Hundreds of thousands are still without power this morning after Sunday's deadly tornado outbreak. Illinois' governor declaring seven counties disaster areas in the wake of more than 70 reported twisters that tore across the Midwest from Missouri to Wisconsin, killing at least eight people. We were hard hit. We've never, ever in the history of Illinois had so many tornadoes in the month of November. From above, you can see where this tornado touched down in an open field and then pummeled this community in Washington, Illinois. At least half of the town of Brookport was destroyed and three people died when a tornado ripped apart two mobile home parks. You just don't think that things like this will happen. You just don't think, you know. There are also incredible stories of survival. Oh my God! Chris Lancaster kept filming while this tornado destroyed his house, packing winds as high as 190 miles an hour. I got hit by some debris or something and cut my eye in three places. This 78-year-old woman escaped the same tornado with a broken nose. Debris started flying. Her home reduced to rubble. Hot water heater, the copper pipes, those parts were all on me. Yesterday, we brought you the story of Steve Boucher. He and his wife miraculously survived in their basement hallway. I was kind of down and she was lowered like here. When they surfaced, their brick home was destroyed and his cars were thrown across the street. The only important thing I had in this house walked out of it with me. And what was that? My wife. Thousands left combing through the piles of debris, searching for whatever they can salvage. <laughs> the video of my wedding. You know, I want to give a little perspective as to how rare this event is. Since 1985, they've only had 200 or so tornado warnings in the state of Illinois. More than half of those came just this last Sunday, Chris. 